I, but I kind of want to go uh, all the way back. Where are you from? Okay, so I was born in Houston, Texas, and then raised in Denver, Colorado. So like I went to middle school, high school, and stuff like that in, in Denver. So you were, you don't, do you remember your life in Houston or is like, yeah, some of it, but like bits and pieces, I was super young for it, but like, so mostly grew up in Denver. Um, and then, uh, I went to Denver East high school, played football there for a couple of years. And then, um, so, I mean, was, was acting, was the arts ever in your mind at that age? So towards the end of high school, it was, um, yeah. How'd that start? Well, so I came from like a big football family. So everyone in my family played. And so, you know, they made sure that I was going to play too, kind of thing. I was going to say, but you're not, okay, you, you have a fine physique, but you're not that big. No, no, no. He's no, pretty no, tall. No. He's pretty I'm tall, like, though. Like, could never, could never really play D1 ball or anything like that, you know? Like, and here's the thing, not very many kids on my uh, team were very big. And, you know, I'm, I'm tall. I'm like six foot, six one, yeah. whatever, like, you know, but they had me play in defensive end and I'm going up against guys who were like, yeah, no. no, it was, it was completely, it was completely the wrong fit for me. It was the wrong cast, if you will. So it was, um, <laughs> but anyway, I did that and I actually really enjoyed it because, um, you know, I thought, I thought it was fun. I, I played it growing up and then I played it in high school and then I got into my uh, high school speech and debate team. Oh, mm. which ended up being sort of like competitive acting Sure, and yeah. I was really, really competitive at the time. And I was like, well, this acting thing is a little bit interesting. So I was like, all right, well, maybe this is like a good way for me to spend my time. And so I did that for, you know, maybe a year. And um, I met one of my mentors, or I guess my first real mentor, um, Matt Murphy, who's the head of that speech and debate team. The next year he took over the drama program And as his first play, he put on To Kill a Mockingbird. Mm. And the guy who he had cast as Atticus Finch got really, really sick, like two weeks before the show was supposed to start. And he went around and he asked like six different guys. He's like, hey, will you you please do this for me? (laughs) And then I was like the last person he asked. I was like the same guy. He's like, look, Nick, you're literally my last option. I hate that I'm asking you right now, but will you please come do this That's thing? Amazing. You have to quit football. Just memorize the lines. It doesn't even have to be good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's but, a dude. That's a heavy lift. Yeah, well, it's a heavy lift. Yeah, playing Atticus Finch in 14 days, and so well, and, then and, and for your like, first, that was like your first acting role. Like speech and debate yeah, is one yeah. thing, and you have to have a point of view, and you want to convince people of things. So it is very active right but yeah and actually that's not bad bad prep for playing Atticus if you're in a courtroom and doing speeches like except it doesn't really prepare you for like when you're talking to your daughter and having those kind of things sure sure but for the courtroom stuff that's actually not bad that's not a bad place to start from please subscribe to our youtube channel